Clap your hands, stamp your feet, go fucking mental for Heath Franklin! All right, I get it. There's a fine line between a comedy show and a hostage situation, so let's get this fucking cracking and get you guys out of here. Um, how you going? We're good? Yeah, 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 nice. Uh, I'm excited to be here. I've just come back from New Zealand. I love it in New Zealand. Right, we got any Kiwis in? Yeah, nice. I love Kiwis, you know? Like Australians, we like to think we're laid back, you know? We're like, we're laid back! We're laid back! If you don't think we're laid back, I'll cut your face, you know? <laughs> And then you go to New Zealand and you guys are like, oh, yeah. I might put some pants on. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's the attitude. I love it, right? I once saw a New Zealander yawn in the middle of their own car accident. <laughs> yeah, he was just like, oh, well, I've lost control. <laughs> May as well catch up on some sleep. I also love the Anzac legend. I like the idea that about 100 years ago, there's a boat full of Aussies and a few Kiwis about to pull up to Anzac Cove in Gallipoli. Uh, I don't think it was called that at the time. It would have been a tactical mistake. <laughs> you know, boat hits the beach, the Aussies are running up. Crikey's truth, fair dinkum, far out. You know, just a couple of Kiwis out the back just being like, oh, it's okay. <laughs> just when you hear a whizzing sound, duck. Pretty exciting, uh, pretty excited. I've just moved next to an Aldi. I love Aldi, right? Yeah, it's awesome. The bargains start before you even get in the door. You haven't even gone in yet, and out the front, shopping trolleys are a dollar. <laughs> That's insane, and you can be an idiot and put your buck in the one at the end of the queue, or you put it halfway down, come home with six or seven of them, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. And the thing I love about Audi is they got weird shit there. You know what I mean? You go shopping somewhere boring like Coles or Woolworths, your shopping list is like milk, bread, cheese. Boo, I'm bored, right? You go shopping at Audi and your shopping list is like grappling hook, ski boots, spare front seat for a barina. Fuck yeah, now we're shopping, you know what I mean? I'm sure they don't have all the brands that you know and love, but they got the next best thing. You know, you can't get, you can't get, bird's eye frozen peas there. No, but you can get a 10 kilo bag of duck face cold green balls. <laughs> They're almost as good, right? You can't get a Snickers, but you can buy a Stonkers. <laughs> and the thing I love is they sell booze right there in the supermarket, the way it should be. Why should I have to make two trips? I've been shopping for bargains all day. I'm thirsty, you know? <laughs> Buying sausages by the kilometre, just dollar fifty. And after that kind of exertion, it's nice to go home, kick back and relax with a big glass of Jenny Walker and Pepsi. <laughs> oh dear. I was in Perth recently, right? I don't know if you guys know this, but Perth's become quite methy lately. Yeah, I just got off the plane. I was standing at an intersection in the city, right? This little methy dude was coming at me. Um, he was, you know, riding a BMX bike. Right, he had, he had one of those little methy bodies <laughs> that I'm quite jealous of. <laughs> you know, you when you're like, I could just take meth for a couple of months. <laughs> Lose a few pant sizes, maybe a couple of teeth, but then just sort of just stop before the scabs kick in or whatever it is, you know? Like, <laughs> He was also riding a BMX bike. I think we can all agree that's pretty methy transport. <laughs> you know what I mean? Somewhere out there, someone's little brother's like, oh, fucking bring it back, Darren, your dog, you know? <laughs> anyway, this dude was coming right at me, and I looked in his eyes, and I was just like, oh, man, if I don't get out of the way, right? So at the last minute, I pulled all my stuff out of the way, right, he just went whizzing past right where I was standing. I was like, is this guy fucked in the head? Um, and then he crashed into the Indian restaurant behind me. I was like, yeah, no, he's... 
very much fucked in the head, is what he is. <laughs> All right, uh, give us a yell if you've got kids. All right, help me out here, right? Do you ever have that thing, and this isn't all the time, do you ever have that thing where you want to bully your own kids? <laughs> like most of the time they're great, every now and then they'll come up and tell you a shit story and you're like, oh, I just want to push you over, you know? They... <laughs> kids, are, kids are terrible at telling stories, you know? My kid will come up and be like, oh, Dad, the other day, Someone came into the house with a pickaxe. <laughs> just started smashing everything. And you're like, hang on, wait, what, what? <laughs> yeah, no, someone came to the house, they had a pickaxe, they were smashing everything. I'm like, hang on, wait, where was this? He's like, oh, in Minecraft. I was like, fuck, lead with that, dude. <laughs> you buried the headline, champ, you know? <laughs> and this current generation are in more desperate need of hydration than any other group of people I've met in my entire life. Anytime we go anywhere, they're always like, oh no, didn't bring my drink bottle. <laughs> oh, I need to buy a bottle of water. You're like... <laughs> Mate, it's a 10 minute drive. You'll be fine, you know? <laughs> oh no, didn't drink bottle, a bottle of water. They're like fucking dolphins being transferred between zoos or something like that. <laughs> marine biologists in wetsuits running around with buckets being like, keep them wet! Keep them wet! Keep them wet! <laughs> You guys are a great crowd. You should... I, in fact, I think you should feel free to just start publicly pleasuring yourselves. <laughs> Train on the way home, whatever, you know? It's all good. Anyway, I, uh, I was having a barn me the other day, right? We all know what a barn me is, right? Yeah. Anyway, I was having a barn me and I thought, do you know what? I reckon the Vietnam War would have easily been the most delicious war. <laughs> right? Like, don't get me wrong, there are wars, none of them are great. You're always overseas shooting at people in their country, right? But at least at the end of a long day of doing that in Vietnam, come home, have a barn me. <laughs> Probably the hardest part about being in the Vietnam War, I reckon, is you'd be in the jungle, you know, and then you get a guy in your sights, but then you're like, shit! What if he's the guy who makes my barn me? <laughs> then I was thinking about some of the other wars and what you'd be eating, you know, like World War II, spending a lot of time in France, eating a lot of French food. Right, I don't know if you guys know this, but French food's quite rich and it's quite heavy. After you've had a big French meal, you don't feel like doing much, you know? You certainly don't feel like repelling wave after wave of Nazis, <laughs> right? And then when you look at what French people have for breakfast, you're like, oh my God, of course you lost that war. <laughs> of course you lost every war. Like, this is what French people have for breakfast. And this is the adults, right? They have like a bowl of hot chocolate, <laughs> like some sort of diabetic cat, <laughs> right? And I can't overpronounce this enough, a wonton, right? <laughs> you can't win a war having hot chocolate croquon for breakfast. That's insane. <laughs> Especially when you compare it to what the Germans had for breakfast in World War II. And what the Germans had for breakfast in World War II was methamphetamine. <laughs> yeah, at the start of World War II, Nazi High Command gave out 35 million tablets of methamphetamine, pervitin, right? They go, there you go, Fritz, crush that up, snort it off the butt of your gun. <laughs> Achtung! Yeah! <laughs> Half an hour later, the dude's hanging out of a tank going 100 k's an hour across the French countryside with eyes like saucers, just being like, let's blitz the shies out of this creek, you know? <laughs> There's some SS dude next to him on his little brother's BMX bike just being like, fast, 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 fast. <laughs> But like if someone burst into this room right now, just through those doors up the back, and just came in and just yelled out, oh my God, I just saw a fight between a man on methamphetamine and a man eating a quahong. <laughs> You wouldn't bother asking who won, would you? Yeah? <laughs> you guys have been awesome. Please welcome back to the stage your MC, Mr. Andrew Barber!